Hi everyone, my name is Johannes Kupser. I'm working as a chief product owner in a joint venture for artificial intelligence at Siemens Digital Industries. I'm excited to present you parts of our industrial AI portfolio with a focus on cloud to edge deployment, including standardized inferencing on the industrial edge. The demo is purely based on industrial edge and our industrial AI software portfolio. Feel free to reach out to the industrial edge homepages to learn more about the industrial edge. What are we going to see today and where do we start? We start at a stage where the model deployment is completed and we have a stored model in, the, in some model repository. The ready to be deployed model is our entry point. We take the model and deploy it from a cloud workflow on the factory networking level and finally to the shop floor on an industrial edge box. Mm -hmm. And for this, we're using three components of our industrial AI portfolio. We're using the AI, AI software development kit, the AI model manager and the AI inference server. You can see here we have three different levels from the cloud level to the factory level to the field level from top to bottom. So we are deploying from cloud to factory to field in a standardized way, no glue code, everything is repeatable. On cloud level, you see a couple of working environments like AWS, Azure, or this can even be somewhere on premise or even in a data center or locally at your fingertips. We are aware that different customers have different IT strategies <clears throat> where we want to seamlessly integrate. The AI software development kit can run in any Python compatible environment. As prerequisite for our standardized and industrial grade deployment and runtime, you have to take our SDK and package your model to be compatible with the AI inference server performing the inferencing on the edge. For our demo, we assume that customers have a CICD environment like Jenkins, GitHub, Actions, or any open source workflow orchestrator like Apache Airflow. In the demo, we use an installation of Apache Airflow. We will demonstrate a sample Airflow pipeline that takes a trained model in a model repository and use our SDK to make it compatible to be executed on the AI inference server. The pipeline integrates with the AI model manager running on factory level and receives the package, including the model and corresponding configuration files. From the AI model manager, we will create a deployment of the received pipeline on the AI inference server. We will also demonstrate the inferencing before we close the demo. I will stop my video stream now so that you can show the demo. Let's go. As mentioned in the presentation, we are using Apache Airflow for our demo today. Apache Airflow is an open source workflow orchestration engine that you're free to use wherever you want, on premise, in the cloud, or as a managed service from some hyperscale. This is just an example. You can also use any pipeline tool you're using, like Jenkins or GitHub Actions or anywhere else. So our SDK is compatible to any of those environments. So before we now kick off this pipeline, I want to show you quickly for example, where we are deploying to. We are now deploying and integrating to the AI model manager. Here, the AI model manager is still empty in the deployment overflow. So what we are expecting later in the demo is that we are showing here and getting here a new deployment from cloud to edge. And from there, we want to deploy to the inference server. So we also see that in the inference server, for example, in this application, we have already a pipeline deployed, which is doing some inferencing and the name here is state identifier. So now let's trigger this pipeline. We could also add a few different options here, but we don't need this now. We're just triggering the pipeline. We get a tree view. We get also an overview on different runs we did in the past. And there are also a lot of metadata tabs that you can open if you want and see like the task retries or the task durations and so on. But we are just interested in getting the graph view and uh, looking a little bit on the different steps we are doing. So we are starting the pipeline. As said in the presentation, we are also fetching the trained model from some model repository. We prepare the workspace in the SDK, getting the folder structure ready. Then we are loading any Python dependencies that uh, the model needs, because at the end, at the edge, we do not want to have internet connectivity as a requirement, and the model can trigger and execute it without any uh, third-party dependencies that you need to load from the internet. 
when we have created our package that is compatible to the AI inference server, we will also test the package. So you can be assured that all dependencies have been downloaded and that the package can run on the AI inference server. And finally, we make the connection to the AI model manager. So that looks good. So let's have a look also if we get this newly packaged package uh, in the AI model manager and have a new deployment ready here. We are talking here about a big model for demonstration purposes later on in the inferencing. So it might take some, some time to really get deployed. Fantastic. Now you can see that we have received a new package here, which is indicated here with this new bubble. Perfect. So let's have a look. So we are using this pipeline here. We can see some details about the workspace, and we can also see some details about the pipeline, like the version or when it's being created and so on. Cool. So now let's have a look and create a new deployment. We have received the package now on the model manager on the factory level. Now let's create a deployment and push it to some edge box and let it run on the inference server. So we need to select a device here that is in our lab environment. Here we take this box, go to the next page, have a look on the overview, some information about our workspace, some information about our pipeline, and then the device itself which on which we are deploying to. So now let's create the deployment. Until this is deploying, we can also, for example, download the zip file, have a look onto the model file itself and the configuration file if we want to. But we want to go to the deployment overview and have a look what's going on. So we see here the target where we are deploying to, for example, this IP address of the edge box. We are seeing here that it's still running. So let's have a look and let's refresh. Nice. Now it should be available on the inference server. So let's head over to the inference server. Here we are in the inference server. We are getting notified on the top right that we have a new package available. Cool. Let's close this. All right, so what can we do now? We see here our new package. What we want to do now is we want to activate it and then show, do some actual inferencing. Now, what we still have to do is we have to get some input data, then do the inferencing, and then also do some out, get some output data. So what are, how are we doing this? We're using and leveraging the industrial edge data bus for that. So let's quickly configure that. All right, that looks good. So now we have a mapping, we're getting some data in, and in our example, we're assuming we have a camera connected, we're taking a picture, do the inferencing, and then let's have a look at the results. Let's initialize and start the pipeline. This takes a few moments, and then we can see how the pipeline is getting initialized and see that it's ready to be triggered. Now the pipeline is up and running. We can see here no inference statistics so far, but we can see also the general information that it's up and running, which model version we are using, and also our variables that we created to talk to our data bus and exchange data through the data bus. Cool. We can also pause or stop it here. As I mentioned, we do not have a camera connected now to this, but we have also a tool where you can simulate in a no-code, low-code environment, which is called the Flow Creator. So let's have, have a look what we can see here. We can see here different nodes that you can put in. For example, we are simulating here the input of a camera and a picture we have taken, then also have some debug messages if you want to text or want to have a preview, for example, of the image that we are showing here. So let's let's start the inferencing right now. 
Okay, cool. So what we are talking about is a picture of our Siemens CEO, Roland Busch, and the NVIDIA CEO, Jens Buang. So what did the model do with this picture? In our example, we just let the model do the inferencing and detect if it can see persons and identify persons and is co confident to do so or not. I think that looks that is looking quite like a success. So we can do and trigger this a few times just to also see some statistics in our inference server. So let's have a look on the inference statistics again. Nice. OK, so we triggered it quite a few times. We can see that we consumed some inputs from the data bus. We also created some outputs and we also see some execution time minimum and time maximum and the average here. And these are all metrics that we can use and work with those metrics in an offering we are calling Operate Your AI. And with that, I'm ready with my demo. And what you saw today is deployment from cloud to edge using the AI SDK running in any open source tool that you that you want. And then from the AI model manager, we deployed the pipeline to the inference server. And from the inference server, we I showed you how the inference looks like and how we are using Flow Creator, for example, with a no-code, low-code platform and application to simulate your workflow until you really have your setup done and you're ready to start inferencing on the shop floor.